Today we're going to do a unboxing video of the Aerogold Smart Water Timer System. I will also set it up. Uh, this is going to be a Wi-Fi enabled timer that will control a garden hose, any uh, regular garden hose. Uh, we have another type of system for one of our hoses, but they were not available. So this Wi-Fi system was ordered on Amazon and very small booklet. Um, you get uh, some tape and an adapter for the hose in case you're going to do another type of fitting. Um, this will be the Wi-Fi part of it where you'll have to plug it in um, close enough to the water hose so it can read. And this is the actual unit itself. So we're going to go and get the app and then uh, we'll set this bad boy up. To get the app, it looks like uh, all you have to do is scan the barcode and that will take you to the app store to get the app. The device is going to require two AA batteries. It's a waterproof, or I'd rather say water resistant battery component. And put the batteries in and it should go right back. All right. We found a wall outlet that we are going to plug the device into. And then we'll go back to the app and see what it takes to pair it. Reading the instructions and to start the pairing process, it says press and hold the button on your timer around six seconds until the LED light flashes rapidly and then you add the device in the gateway. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in our greenhouse, we have a few different types of misting systems, but a new one that we just installed is just a regular quarter inch irrigation that plugs directly into uh, the faucet. If you were to put the lever on, it would go off. But what I'm gonna do is unscrew it and screw in the timer. All right, so it only took a second and uh, everything is pretty tight on there. Um, and we're going to turn this on because the valve should be off. But I see why they gave tape. I am going to go ahead and put tape around both of those areas since they leak right out of the box. All right, so now that it is back on with tape, let's turn it back on and see if it leaks. Oh, hey, leaks even worse than it did the first time. This leak has stopped. This is worse. Uh, actually, this one's leaking too. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go get my own tape. All right, so now we've added our own tape that we like to use. Uh, I'm, now we've added the tape that we like to use, the uh, fast tape, which you can get at most uh, big box stores. And let's hook that up and see what it does. All right, so I'm not sure if it's because this is all plastic uh, and the metal of the 
missing system is trying to go onto a plastic component once the tape is on, but this was very difficult to get on, unlike their tape, which was very thin. But uh, if it leaks, there's gonna be a problem because I don't see a way to stop it. Uh, but let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, you know, this is just, it's awful. The misting's great. And uh, you can see the misting is coming on well. Filling the entire greenhouse with a nice, very fine mist. So yeah, I, I love this misting system. It's, it's pretty easy. Uh, it was a uh, one you can find on Amazon as well. That's just uh, already pre-configured. It's a 75 foot one. And we're just on a minute to go with the timer, but I cannot believe how much it is leaking, even with the plumber's tape on. Um, so I'm gonna keep trying to take it on and off to see if I can somehow get it to be just right where it does not keep leaking. But if I'm turning this on every two hours for five minutes and it's leaking that much, we're going to be wasting a bunch of water. So I do not wanna do that. But yeah, we're hoping that uh, this is going to turn off properly. We'll know here in a couple of uh, seconds. Oop, yep, just shut off. So the timer itself does work. You can see everything's turned off. And this is stopping the leak. Okay, quick little update. I just turned it on again. I put on even more tape and it's leaking even more. So I don't know what to say about it. I don't, I can't even tell where it's leaking from, uh, but that's just unacceptable. So I'll have to figure something out with that. We're gonna end the video with this. So we kept taking it off and on, off and on, off and on. And uh, no matter how many times you put it on and off, it still drips. Now it drips on this end again. Uh, so the plumber's tape is not helping. And this one fits better now that the plumber's tape was taken off the front. And it's only on the back and it leaks less, but there's not a single thing we can do to get it to stop leaking. I went into our garage and I found a couple of washers that came with another hose uh, device that we're using. So we're going to put in these washers and see if it'll help the leaks at all. It did not come with washers, so I have to add these additionally, but we'll see if it helps. The washers made all the difference. Um, this one now doesn't leak at all, and this one leaks a tiny bit um, but I'm gonna take this off reapply tape and uh, then with the washer and the tape hopefully that will uh, help that leak out but I can't believe that one stopped totally and now this one is going fun